Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, I have a featured seller video, and this is somebody that I've known for quite a while. He's been around since the beginning of my channel. I have featured him many, many times. Um, he is a Bolo finder. He has a Facebook group that he started, I think, I think it was after I started my channel, and I've kind of been helping him um, build it up by every time I do a video, I promote it because it's an awesome Facebook group. Uh, he also has a YouTube channel. And for those of you that have watched me for a while, you are definitely familiar with his videos or my videos of his sales. Hodge Podge. <laughs> bolo finder um just fantastic bolos so um i was working on a halloween bolo video a category video tonight and i'm like i'm gonna message him and see if he can get me some information and he was able to do that so i'm gonna share it with you guys so let me get my screen share pulled up first off i want to show you guys um this is my channel bolo buddies i also have another channel called sourcing with bolo buddies so check that out links are down in the description um i have a playlist if you click right here on playlist it is going to take you to this screen and if you look right here it says hodge podge so i have eight videos what sold videos where I have featured his solds and they are always amazing. So definitely go check out that playlist. I'll try to remember to post it down in the description, but if not, you can just go to my channel and click playlists and it'll be right there. Okay. Now here is his YouTube channel. You guys, he's not like a fancy thumbnails, big time, like trying to grow his channel. He just puts great information out for you guys to watch. Um, he does a lot of jewelry and he's super, super smart about jewelry. So definitely go over and check out his channel. I wish he did what solds, but um, I will continue to do them here and there for him because I want you guys to get the info. It's just fantastic. So definitely subscribe to his channel. I'll link that down below. But most importantly, the thing that he's growing right now is his Facebook group. It's called Resellers Research Group, Flippers, Sellers, Thrifters, Buyers, and more. He is up to 9.3 members, which would be kind of, I would like to go back and look at one of the first videos I did because he has had some major growth in his group and it's because he puts out fantastic info. So definitely go check out that group. It's um, one of my favorites. So um, I will link it down below also. Now then, are you guys ready for some bolos? Okay, we are going to start with this crazy, huge, big money bolo. Um, you guys, he sold this horse for $650. And let me tell you where he got it. At a thrift store for $2. Yes, I said $2. So Briar Horses can definitely be a big money bolo. They can also be bread and butter. Um, he picked up a whole bunch and he said they ranged from $30 up to $650. So that just shows you there is a huge range. This one happened to be, it looks like numbered on the bottom of the foot. I've never seen that. And it's just a really rare horse. Uh, super, super fantastic find. Um, Definitely look up Briar Horses. Don't overpay. You got to be careful. You got to do your research. But yeah, he hit the jackpot with this one. The next item he sold is this Olympia Oyster Wood Crate Box. And he picked this up at an antique shop. He did pay up for this one. He paid $65 for it. That's another thing you're going to find with Eddie is he is super knowledgeable um, so he knows what to grab and what to pay up for. So he paid 65 for this. He took a best offer of $275. The next item that sold are these vintage mid-century modern MCM Beehive plastic tripod retro lamps, orange and white. He paid a dollar each for these, you guys, a dollar each at a thrift store. That's crazy. A dollar each. That seems like 
a really, really good price. He ended up taking a best offer on these of $210. The next item he sold is this Aurora plush. It's a large leopard plush. It's 28 inches. Apparently, it's a very rare plush. Uh, it still has the original tags, and it says Super Flopsies. So I don't know if Super Flopsies is what makes it rare or what. But you guys, this guy... Look, it's even got writing on the tag. How cute is that? Um, sold for $150, the best offer of $150. The buyer paid shipping. He picked this up at the Goodwill for $1. <laughs> the next item that sold, okay, you guys, vintage paper mache. Definitely a bolo item. You want the old stuff, the really vintage. Um, the newer stuff is not going to go for as much, but still can, money to be made on the newer items. But I've sold a paper mache that was not super old. And I, I think I sold it for like 40 or 50 bucks. It was in one of my videos, but um, this one is old and very cool. He picked up two of these. Now, again, this is an example of where he paid up because he knew it was a bolo. He got this at a town shop, two of them for $150 and he sold one for 170. So he made his money back plus a little on this one. And then the other one was all profit. The next item he sold is this Poulon Pro Snapback Trucker Hat, two stripe mesh chainsaw cap. So you see here on the side, those are the stripes. Those bring up the value of a trucker hat. If you haven't seen my trucker hat bolo video, it's a category video. Go check it out. It'll help you learn what to look for when you're looking at trucker hats. He got this at a yard sale for 50 cents and he sold it for $185. The next item that sold is this Walk with Wick, the Tree Dog Encyclopedia by John Wick. This was something that he had on his uh, shelf for a while and he thinks he picked it up at a yard sale for a dollar, but he's not 100% sure um, because he kind of hung on to it for a little while. But it sold for $175. So definitely a bolo item. Looks like it's dated copyright 1985. The next item he sold is this Kawasaki Big Bam Boom Drum. drum. It's a, a drum machine from 1999, you guys. So it's vintage. It's got the cool graphics, the advertising. Um, yeah, I, I probably would have grabbed this also. Vintage toys are definitely a bolo. Um, he picked this up at a thrift store. He did pay up for it. He paid $20 for it, and he sold it for $140, and the buyer paid shipping. The next item that sold is this Lego Vikings set. So anytime you can get new retired Legos, you definitely want to do that if you can get them for the right price. Um, definitely search comps. Looking up comps for Legos is really easy. You just put in the item, uh, the Lego set number, like this one's 7017. Put that into um, eBay and check the solds. And I usually search high to low, and then I will search low to high. Um, I typically will list my items on the high end and then put best offer. Um, he sold this for $165 plus shipping, and he picked it up at a thrift store for $20. The next item he sold is this vintage Redman woven red, white, and blue Americana wooden picnic basket. It is um, metal and wood, it looks like here. And he got this at a thrift store for $10. The buyer, it was an international buyer, and it sold for 125, but the international buyer will also have um, fees through global shipping where they have to pay their customs up front and the shipping costs. They were all in for $380 for this picnic basket. The next item that sold is this vintage Japanese liqueur ooh, ab abalone. Uh, I might be saying that wrong. That's not abalone, is it? That's not how you spell abalone. Is that how you spell? No. <laughs> oh my goodness. A-B-I-L-O-N-E. Maybe, maybe it is abalone. Let me see. So abalone, I think it is, but I didn't think that's how you spelled it. 
Oh my goodness. Well, anyway, I think it's uh, abalone and mother of pearl um, inlay. It's a jewelry box. It's an estate find. It is beautiful. And now I really want to see if my phone will tell me abalone. Here's some information. No. So I was right. A-B-A-L-O-N-E is abalone. So either it was a typo or that's something I don't know about, which it could be either way. It's only one letter off. It was probably a typo because um, I'm trying to see. It looks like abalone. I don't know, but I say everything wrong. So <laughs> who knows? Uh, but he sold it for one hundred and sixty five dollars. He paid ten dollars for this at a thrift store. And it is amazing. That's what um, the marking is. And I definitely would have picked that up. So pretty. The next item is this vintage Australian military forces slouch hat with pin and badge. Um, $5 at a yard sale and sold it for $105. And I will tell you if it was abalone and it was spelled wrong, it was definitely a typo because he sells tons of jewelry and he would know how to spell it. So, um, yeah, he is a bolo jewelry finder. I didn't show you any of his jewelry he sold. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this Australian hat, best offer of 105. I don't know. Um these things are hard for me like hats. These I don't know good keywords unless I can find one that's identical and then I just, you know, use somebody else's. All right, so this chess set is a vintage Italian stone chessboard, checkerboard, estate find. And how pretty is that? Look at these pieces. It's amazing. Um, he got this at a thrift store for $15. And I did not get what he ended up selling it for. So I apologize. Um, oh, wow. It's got this little information here. But yeah, really, really neat piece. Look at that. That is amazing. So I'm. he usually doesn't take a whole lot off. So it probably sold close to that. The next item is this vintage 1930 uh, gray bar electric fan. It's a desktop fan and you can see it's, you know, it's got some condition issues. It's old. Um, there's the bottom info. Uh, he, I don't have where he got it or what he paid for it, but he sold it for a best offer of 105. Sorry guys. He usually gets me the stuff like within a half an hour of me asking. So. Um, I missed that one. Either it was in there and I missed it or, but either way, very, very cool item. The next item is this vintage Hawaiian hula girl. How cool is that? Uh, he got her at a thrift store for $3 and sold her for 145 So tell me, would you have known that that was a big money bolo? I'm not sure I would have. I would have thought maybe it was worth something, but probably not $145. The next item is this vintage Sunbeam T-20C Radiant Control Automatic Toaster uh, from the 50s. And he got this at a thrift store for $10, took a best offer of $120. The next item is this 1977, I'm probably going to say this wrong, Cessna? Cessna, yeah. 310 and 340 sales brochure. So this is a sales brochure, you guys. He paid 10 cents. He bought 14 of these and paid 10 cents each. So his cost of goods was $1.40. Uh, I think he said he's made over $1,000 on these brochures, you guys. Uh, this one, he took a best offer of 115 And again, cost of goods was 10 cents. The next item is this 1950s vintage bijou rubber vinyl face hoofs cow plush stuffed toy look at that guy and he's a little rough so um but still very cool got this at a thrift store for five bucks and sold it for a best offer of 125 and the buyer paid shipping here's another one of those uh brochures this one was also 10 cents and he took a best offer on this one of a hundred dollars 
The next item is this Clemson. Um, it's a rare Clemson University Tigers brass belt buckle. Heritage Mint from 1981. Uh, he sold this for 103 on best offer. And he got it at a thrift store for $3. The next item is this vintage red and white drum major staff, staff mace. And you can see it's got some condition issues there on the end, probably from people flipping it around and dropping it. Is that what you do with a staff? Maybe not. Maybe I'm thinking of a baton or is that what they're called? Patons? Twirler? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, um, he got this at a thrift store for $2 and took a best offer of 80 I really love how diverse his store is. I mean, he will sell anything and everything. He does have lots of bread and butter items also. I'm showing you his big money. Um, I hope to do a bread and butter video in the future. I do have one video that I did of his um, on his store of bread and butter. So that's in that playlist. Okay, these are British Army drums and bugles of the line All Lead Figures. So they're little lead figures. How cool is that? Um, he got this at a box lot at an auction. He paid $165 for the whole box. And he has sold everything in the box for over $750. This particular one, he took a best offer of $80. The next item is this. I tell you, he, tell, he sells anything and everything. This vintage Coke. It's a Canadian um, glass bottle. And it still has the Diet Coke in it. Uh, he got this at a thrift store for $5 and sold it for $57 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Kiss Vintage Paperback Book. It's um, a first print from 1978 by Robert Duncan. Um, I will tell you that Kiss band items that are vintage can definitely be a bolo. I do have a bolo category video on Kiss band items if you want to check that out. This item he got at the Salvation Army and it sold for $85 and he paid $1 for it. The next item is this vintage Steinbach Nutcracker Carpenter. He got this at a garage sale for $5 and he took a best offer of $65. And here's the little tag that is attached. Handmade Germany. Super fun little piece. Look at the little nails in his, uh, or screws. Were those nails or screws? Screws. <laughs> The next item that sold is this vintage, I'm not sure how to say this, Kitich, 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 I don't know, Hawaiian mood cloth doll, handmade, one of a kind, traditional. Um, one of a kind can be spelled out or you can use O-O-A-K. That's another um, like thing that people search on eBay. This is this little doll and he got this at a thrift store for $3 and took a best offer of 60 the next item is Vintage Storm Thurmond Crystal Glass Ashtray. Now, he said he did look this up on Worth Point, and comps were around $20 or $30 that, you know, comparable. So, this item on Worth Point, and he listed it high, and he ended up taking a best offer of $70. I'm sorry, it sold for $70. He got this at a thrift store for $2. So when you're looking at comparables for items, you can go with what everybody else did, but sometimes people underprice their things. So if it's a vintage rare item and you're willing to give it some time to wait on the right buyer, you can price your items higher like he did. Um, I do have a video on WorthPoint. Um, I recently ended up signing up for it and I show you in the video how it has already paid off for me. That is over on my sourcing with Bolo Buddies YouTube channel, but um, definitely, definitely work it, worth it. I'll try to remember to link it. If you want to remind me to link it, you can, or you can just go over to that channel, Sourcing with Bolo Buddies, and look up the Worth Point video. The next item is this vintage Cobalt Blue Glass Pitcher Juicer, and he picked this up at a thrift store for $5 and took a best offer of $53 and the buyer paid shipping. So I think I had um, one of these, it was similar in another video I did. Um, so a lot of times people have like, they just want vintage items in their home, you know, so they will buy these old things and um, decorate their homes with it and actually use the items. 
The next item is this Nancy Thomas 1993 folk art angel heart love religious figure. And you can see here it is signed. And he got this at a thrift store for $1 and sold it for a best offer of $54. The next item is this vintage M4 Seber Tool Miniature Multi-Tool Locking Tool. He got this at, I don't know where, but he paid $3 for it and took a best offer of five and the buyer paid shipping. So again, this is his YouTube channel, HodgePodge. And I will link all of these things down below along with his eBay store. So you guys can go check that out. This is his Facebook group. Definitely, definitely join. Uh, this is my channel. And if you want to see all of the hodgepodge videos, you can go to the playlist button and it's going to take you over here and you can click on uh, play all for hodgepodge and you guys will definitely, definitely, definitely learn a lot. Um, I love featuring his bolos because I just look through his store and I am amazed at all of the amazing bolo items he has. So please go and sub him up, check out his Facebook group. Um, again, uh, most of his YouTube channels are just helping you guys learn. So um, he's fantastic. So definitely go check him out. All right, you guys, uh, thanks for being here and thanks for watching.